Hello, family. Siangoba Mteto here. Thanks for tuning in again on yet another episode. Today, I'm chilling with a good brother of mine. My brother from another mother, mm-hmm. um, another insanely amazing, you know, talented person. You continue, know. continue. <laughs> Keep it coming, party. Keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, these guys are just amazing. And for me, the coolest thing is that they are my friends. They are my brothers and sisters. And I'm so honored to, to have met them, you know. They are such amazing. Their ministry is impacting the world out there. It's actually even impacting me. I'm... I'm, I'm learning a lot from them and you know it's amazing it's an amazing thing um kululi pepe um all the way from zimbabwe he's been doing great things he was part of a joy celebration at some point now he's an artist in his own right um let's welcome him let's welcome him to my house kululi sir i'm so honored thank you for coming thank you thank you buddy what an introduction (laughs) What an introduction. It I always tried. sounds yeah, it sounds different when somebody <laughs> is actually saying it and you're sitting right there, you know. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, man. You're such yeah. an amazing person. I mean, I think um we've actually traveled the journey um since we've met um from Joy Celebration. Um you weren't always this person that you see now. You've actually grown um to be <laughs> this person who is just in his element. Amen. And, um the journey is quite long and we'll get to talk about um, some of those uh, periods in your life where it was hard, where it was um, not so easy, you know. But um, first things first, um, where do you come from? Where did everything start for you? Eish. Mm. Uh, hello, parties, <laughs> uh, subscribers. Remember to subscribe to his channel, guys. Let's support this gentleman here. One of the humblest souls I've ever met. Uh, now back to me, but. <coughs> Um, wow. Uh, you've said a mouthful because I, I have not always been this kind of person. Um, and the fact that you were there when it all began, it, it humbles me completely, man. Um, cause the other thing with growth is that you, you don't actually get to witness it sometimes. You, you don't get to see it happening. You know, you only get to reflect when somebody else is tapping you on the shoulder and telling you that, ah, Actually, you, you do come from far. You are not where you started. So um, my journey began in, in Zimbabwe, you know. Uh, I'm a Kasi boy from, from Zimbabwe, Bulawayo. My upbringing was not very special. Um, and then the first time I discovered I could sing was actually in primary school. Um, I, used to, I used to stand in front of the class. Uh, I was a class monitor of some sort. I don't know whether I was appointed or whether I gave myself that uh, self-appointed. <laughs> so I, I would just uh, take every opportunity uh, when the teacher walked out of the class. I would take the opportunity to stand in front of everybody. I've always been an entertainer. So I would stand in front of the class, shy as I was, but I would stand in front of the class. I think I was less shy than other guys. Yeah. And I would sing. So I, I, I sang uh, songs from people like Dolly Parton, Don Williams, because that's what my mom used to listen to at home. Yeah. And then I heard the other kids say, oh, you're actually talented. I'm like, well, okay, okay. So I, I, I began to do it more and more of that, you know, and it kind of grew on me. But um, my journey took a turn uh, around about 2006 when I auditioned for a competition in Zimbabwe. It's Zimbabwe's version of idols. So I just went there, just thought, okay, uh, let me just go there and see, because most of my friends had gone there to audition. So on day number one, I didn't go. Day number two, I went there, auditioned, they took me, and I went quite far in that journey. So, yeah, I think, yeah. And then from there, I moved to South Africa. Then, oh, I went to idols, Eastern South uh, you, Yeah. We, we cannot leave that out. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I came sixth in Idols East and South in Africa, which was huge for me as somebody who was still trying to find himself. I, funny enough, regardless of the number of people who had told me that I was quite amazing, I don't know what they saw in me, but I still didn't believe, you know, and uh, it, it took a lot for me to get to where I am now. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a whole summary of things. Oh, man. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm sure a lot of people are happy actually to hear that. 
they can a- even relate, you know, their stories to yours, and that's the beautiful thing mm-hmm. about it. Now, I can imagine it wasn't always easy, you know, growing up, finding yourself, um, and you know you've got this gift, and probably at home, like any other um, African family, they put you at school to go and learn <laughs> and become something, either a doctor or a teacher. Did you face those kinds of things where your parents were like, this music thing <laughs> is not a career. We want you to become a lawyer. You know? Oh, party. Oh, party. You know, guys, whenever you want to see that I'm being genuine, I call this guy, this guy party. <laughs> if I say party, I'm about to get real with you. I, I think I wouldn't be a typical African uh, artist if I didn't go through that process, you know, where where family members are asking if your head is correct. Okay, (laughs) so with me, with me, (laughs) but when this music thing began, you know, after the whole idols experience, that's when I, I, I discovered that, oh, wow, I can actually make a career out of this. And at that point in time, I, I actually had a corporate job. I had been promoted like four times within a period of uh, 12 months, you know, which is amazing. You know, I, I've got this ability. I've got this ability, people have got, of just getting into a space, you know, and I've got this endearing uh, kind of thing, you know, if I may use my <laughs> English there. So, yeah, they, they loved me at work and... When, when I told my... My mom was very supportive. God rest her soul. I miss her so much. She was my uh, number one fan, actually. Um, my granny... Because my granny used to get some benefits from me working for, for that company in Zimbabwe. They would give us groceries, you know, and I would take about a half of the groceries, take them to my granny as well. So she sat me down when she heard that I was quitting my job for music. She's like, eh, so I won't tell you, I'm you know, <laughs> is, 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 is there something, is everything all right? Like, are you okay, first of all? She, didn't, she couldn't comprehend the fact that music could be a career, yeah. you know? You, she, she asked me, okay, oh, no, actually, it's, it's not even her. I've even had people ask me, what do you do for a living? Then I say, no, I'm a, I'm, an, I'm a singer. I'm a gospel music artist. They're like, yeah. What do you do for a living? <laughs> so it, it's always been like that, bruh. It's always been like that. But I thank God, uh, you know, for, for the people that he put in my path. All you need sometimes is just that one person to believe in you. And, you know, you'll, you'll be fine. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean... It's 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 the same with all of us, I guess. I can, when I tell my story, you'll find that they are almost similar. <laughs> so, now this is you leaving Zimbabwe mm-hmm. to come to South Africa. Was it a, was it a something you <laughs> planned a long time ago? It just happened because of opportunities that you got. Um, how did that come about? <laughs> Let's just say it's not because of opportunities that I got. It's because of opportunities that I did not get in <laughs> Zimbabwe. So I, I didn't leave Zimbabwe to, um, to, like, I wasn't crossing over to a greener pasture. The situation was so bad economically. When I came back from Idols, I had nothing, absolutely nothing. You know, I had no job, which I lost in pursuit of music. Because I got to a point where my music was doing quite well, you know, uh, not well in terms of money. Uh, artists, please. Yeah, when you say your music is doing well, let it be accompanied by that monetary value as well. So it, it, it wasn't, it, well, I was doing quite well in, in my music. Ne? And then um, I moved to, to South Africa to pursue something that would give me food on my table, if you get what I mean. In as much as I was popular, I was known, I had been in, in, in music competition, so I was a celebrity of some sort, but I didn't have money, and I was beginning to sell off my assets one by one 
in order to take care of my family. So that's what um, influenced my decision of moving to South Africa, just to find something to do. Something not even having to do with music, but anything to do. A job at a restaurant, sub anything. By the way, my respects to everybody who works in a restaurant. I like it, It's an amazing thing that you're doing. Very tough conditions. So I came to South Africa and opportunity found me in South Africa. Wow. I got the Joya Celebration opportunity because I was in South Africa at a time when they needed something different. They had tried Uche, hey, hey, my God is good. Oh. And then uh, everything had went well. Uh, so they, uh, they decided, okay, let's find something else from other parts of Africa, you know? Yeah. So I just happened to be in that space and my life changed forever, bro. Wow. Yeah. Wow, man. It's amazing how you say an opportunity found you. It's mm -hmm. such a, a profound statement because a lot of us wait for opportunities. Yeah. So um, I want you to speak to those people who don't get opportunities. Wow. Um, wow. Wow. But wow. That is a profound question. Um, a wise man once said to me that always be in pursuit of something. Like, you, you gotta always keep yourself on the edge. You know, like, continue working hard, continue seeking, continue excelling where you find yourself. You know, I, I've, been, I've been an assistant, electrical assistant, you know, like, uh, touching electric cables when I didn't go to electric school or whatever, engineering school or whatever they call it. Um, and I, I was excelling there. Even in a church where I was fellowshipping, I was excelling there. I was leading praise and worship. I was sweeping the church. I was fixing the chairs. And this, this, is, this is where it, it gets even more interesting, Patty. As I was busy serving in the church, living my life the best way I could, trying to please the Lord in every way that I could, the woman of God who, uh, who whose church I was fellowshipping in was um, a big time. Um, uh, what do we, what do they call it? She was she was one of the managers at Kaya FM there, mm -hmm. and there was a time when Joya Celebration used to work with Kaya FM, yeah. you know, for promos and all of those things. That's how you know I actually got the invite from Ubabulin Delani Mkize to join Joya Celebration. To Th through the mom fundis, yeah. yeah, but through the pastor's wife. So I, I was busy pursuing my thing. I was content with what God was doing. You know, I was living my life the best way I could. And then uh, busy serving God. And then opportunity found me. That's, that's exactly what I mean by opportunity found me. So for those guys who are still waiting for opportunity to locate them, I'm not saying just fold your hands because there's a life to live. You know, there's a life to live. Continue doing your best to be the best in whatever you can. And then opportunity, if it happens to come your way, it will find you ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They say opportunity must meet preparedness. Amen. You know. Yes, I think we have um, actually spoken a mouthful with Mkulili. So let's get uh, him to sing. Um I mean, I love the hymns that they do there that you guys do at Bezim, so I want to hear one of those. Um, so stay tuned after this short ad break. We're coming back with a song. <laughs> Hello, good people. We are back. Um, Kulule is going to sing for us. Tell us, man, which song is this that you're going to sing for us? Oh, wow. Uh, mm, there's quite a number of them. Um, but there's a song that <laughs> is really dear to my heart. It's titled um, Totenda Kunaka, meaning uh, we thank you for your goodness, oh God. You know, uh, we praise your name. Um, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs>
bro i mean yo this has taken me to zimbabwe literally hey amen I, I, I've, I've been to one of the churches there i think it's harvest house international beautiful church. church yeah and yo i enjoyed listening to those uh, zimbabwean praise and worship songs it was amazing so you've literally taken me there man thank you so much that was amazing guys there you have it mkululi pepe an amazing minister singer artist songwriter um, he was here to, to bless us today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let's meet on the next one. So for me and Mkululi. Uh, it's goodbye for now. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notifications bell. Please, yeah. please. Cheers. <laughs>